All right, let's do this clarinet day number 10. We're going to do a 20 minute lesson. Uh, 20 minute practice, rather. It's not really a lesson. I'm not really teaching a whole lot here. Uh, God. It's obnoxious. Sure. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're going to start a lesson with a five minute warm up. Okay, five minute warm up. Let's. God, everything is. Horn up. Okay. Five minute timer for my warm up. God, okay. Start. That took too long. Alright, we're just going to do a C major warm up. That is D major for the clarinet. That's two sharps F sharp and C sharp. Remember, uh, F sharp is here. C sharp will be. Lord, what is C sharp? C sharp's, uh, I think it's that. So, our C sharp or our uh, C major warm up. Here we go. Starting on long tones, and you can just follow along in your uh, your warm up pages that I send out. I do that without squeaking. Okay, there's your long tones. Let's do the scale. D concert scale. D to D with no, or with F sharp and C sharp in between. Hmm. Something weird happened. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Notice I'm getting better across in the break, which is taking all your fingers off to all your fingers on. Uh, I'm getting better at that. Okay, it's just something that you got to practice. It's taking me a couple weeks, but I'm getting better. I can do it most of the time without squeaking now. I can't do it fast yet, but it's getting better. Let's do a chromatic scale. That's a high chromatic scale. I'm taking that down. That's way too high for what I need today. That's more better. Okay. Here we go. Chromatic scale. Starting on D. Oh lord, that's starting on F. Okay. No, it's not. That's starting on D. Alright. something here. Not bad. 
and then I'll do my uh, my fingering technique workout. Starting on D. some work but I'm done that's my warm-up we're moving on I'm gonna be working out for the next couple weeks out of I'm gonna play some classical music I know it's not something that you really want to hear but um, classical music is how most everybody gets trained these days so it's good to introduce you to it and I'm not gonna be doing anything specific any Bach or Beethoven type stuff uh, I'm just gonna be working out of some method books that really smart old men have written back in the day so I'm gonna use the uh, Close say method, not just a big gigantic book. Don't get too intimidated. I'm not going to pick stuff that's too hard for me or too hard for you. But uh, this is one of the biggest method books that the clarinets want to use, and I'm just going to play through it. I'm going to look at everything in here, and I'm just going to play all the parts, play all the music that I see. And if it's too hard, I'm going to skip it. I might come back to it later, I might dog ear it. But if it's doable, I'm going to do it. So we're going to start this one. I'll take a picture of this and put it online for you. Um, we're going to start on something interesting here. I don't want to jump right into some weird junk. This book might be a little too hard for what we're looking at. Good lord, that stuff is difficult. Where are the... Let me see. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm... There better be another clarinet book in here. No, nope, I'll just play what's written. Okay. Uh, we're going to start in this page 14. It's talking about breathing. and It's, it's basically a breathing exercise, but uh, I'm going to try to play it. There's a lot of crossing the break here, which I need to practice big time. So we're going to start 15 minutes. And uh, we're just going to dig straight into it. No, not five minutes, 15 minutes. And that'll be the rest of my practice today. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight into it. It says demi respiration, and it's a whole bunch of nonsense you don't need to read. I'm not really worried about the breathing exercise here. I'm working, working on uh, the note accuracy and following everything I need to. So this is all slurred here. Again, it's a lot of a lot of weird fingering switches in there. Really not. I'm just bad.
So yeah, there's not really a whole lot of melody there. It just wants um, just wants you to breathe in the right spots. I'm gonna move on. Let's do the second little section here. And I'm just I'm just going for note accuracy here. Maybe one day I'll talk about breathing, but I'm not really fooling with it today. C, good lord. So you got C, D, E, oh, it'll be this. squeaky sounds great all right next line uh it says demi respiration consider it as blah, 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 whatever breathe where it says to breathe here right got some high notes in here make sure you look up your fingerings for those uh i've practiced a lot of fingerings lately so i know them pretty well at this point but you know do what you can Me keep hitting the, hitting the uh, camera, tapping my foot. hard okay but there's nothing melodical about that I don't want to do that anymore that's boring it's a good uh, exercise to practice to get better but I'm gonna play something that's more fun where is my trumpet book trumpet will have some actual music in it and you can play trumpet music on the clarinet real easy just gotta read what's written there we go. I'll play Grazio based on Sonatina. Uh, this is by Beethoven. I guess I told you I wasn't going to, but here we are. And I'm just going to play it. We'll see. I'm not going to do it at tempo right now, but we'll, we'll go.
lots of moving there. I've got to fix this stupid sticking thing in my clarinet. I just keep forgetting. I'm too busy. Keep going. Hmm. Try again. So, yeah, we'll do Grazio. This is way... Grazio, so this is way more stuff going on. Uh, lots of jumps between the break and uh, jumps to G from higher notes. Taking all your notes off and hitting G. I find that pretty difficult. Um... Because that's a, that's a throat tone. It's coming out real weak. I'm going to try to make that a little bit brighter. I'm going to start in the um, third line here. It says piano. And you can follow along. This might be a little hard for you. I might have to pull some easier stuff for us to work on. But I'm going to work on this right now. That could be a problem. That's a B flat, good lord. That's so wrong. Let's move on. Let's keep going. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was weird. <clears throat> I'm getting way better at it, though. Let's keep pushing.
that ended there. Okay, that's all I'll do today. Uh, shoo, that song is hard. Uh, but it's practicing things that I need to practice. Jumping the brakes, or jumping the brakes, switching octaves, switching from the high register to the low register. It's all stuff that I need to work on, so it's all stuff that I'm going to keep working on. Um, if you don't want to work on the thing that I'm working on, that's perfectly fine. Start my video, play five minutes of it, do the warm up, and then do something else. Right? It's real simple. You can ignore my repertoire if you don't want to do it. But you should practice something that interests you. This interests me, so it's what I'm doing. Practice something. Don't just avoid practice and don't practice the same thing every day. I try to practice something different every single week. You should do that as well. You should really you should work on the same thing for a little while to make sure you've got it but then once you've got it to a decent level move on to something else keep challenging yourself that's what I'm trying to do all the time is challenge myself with this stuff I want to get better um, God my eye itches I hope that you guys are doing okay uh, I will see you guys next week for clarinet video the next one